Sure, phosphorus is a basic element that we need to survive. Um, it's uh, essentially an element that you can find in all sources of food. Um, it's absolutely essential for uh, cell energy production and uh, you find it in uh, DNA and also it's a very important element for the formation of bones and cell membrane structure. So it's a very important element. Without it, we cannot survive. Well, in a way, we are mismanaging phosphorus because we mine rock phosphate to essentially produce fertilizers and often uh, these fertilizers or nutrients that we put on, spread on our agricultural fields aren't taken up by crops and the various um, food stuffs that we grow. Uh, often these fertilizers will end up washing off into water bodies which then over fertilize the, our lakes and rivers uh, and which cause algal blooms and uh, threaten the um, health of aquatic ecosystems. We're over fertilizing the lake and it has caused uh, basically algal blooms to form in, uh, in the various basins of the lake and that is causing you know beach closures and uh, so far it hasn't impacted the fishery as such but uh, some fishermen are very concerned that uh, it could eventually have a major impact on, on the fisheries in the area. Oh absolutely not. I think um, I think that uh, you know we, we definitely have a lot of work to do, um, but uh, you know I think Mother Nature is, is fairly resilient and uh, is able to heal itself. And I think it's just a matter of basically changing our behaviors, having a better understanding with respect to um, how we could you know better manage, uh, better do do things differently, a little differently, that will give. Uh, give these ecosystems a chance to heal themselves. Really, that's what it comes down to. There's a number of different ways to approach, uh, to approach this. First of all, there's um, um, technologies out there within, uh, within the, the practice of agriculture, which essentially injects the right amount of fertilizer in the right spot so that you can uh, ensure that the plants take up uh, the fertilizer, takes up, takes up all the fertilizer that's injected into the soil. Uh, so it's basically strategically injecting the fertilizer in the right spot on the field. Um, and then there's also, uh, you know, opportunities to recover phosphorus by essentially um, putting in uh, recovery systems in its wastewater treatment plants. Um, and so there's a, one particular technology that's called a struvite recovery system that essentially uh, is able to uh, synthesize fertilizer from uh, wastewater uh, into a commercially viable uh, fertilizer. So that's just another example. And there's uh, you know a number of different ways we can essentially recycle phosphorus or recover and recycle phosphorus back onto the landscape. Another really good example is um, uh, composting. So recovering uh, waste food and making sure that waste food doesn't end up in the landfill but is essentially you know, uh, recovered, composted back into good high quality soil and fertilizer and then basically spread on agricultural fields so we can keep producing the food we need to, um, to eat. Well I think that it will definitely benefit from having uh, the government take a, a very um, serious look at the importance of phosphorus and how we've been managing it thus far and improving our approach to, towards managing phosphorus in general and um, you know putting in programs and strategies to recover and reuse this important element um, and but it's also going to require you know just a general um, better understanding a better general understanding um, towards you know the importance of phosphorus so the, the general public needs to understand how important this element is so it's much like um, water is so very important to our basic survival it's actually the same, it's the same type of dynamic for phosphorus. Without phosphorus, we just simply can't grow food, and without it, we can't survive. So that's also very important. So two things, we need to get the government on board to understanding the issue and to, you know, basically implementing effective programs to enable us to um, recover and recycle this precious nutrient. And secondly, the general public needs to be uh, aware of how important this element is so that 
you know, we can all pitch in towards, you know, uh, managing this, uh, this precious resource a lot more effectively. Sure. Um, the Water Innovation Centre um, currently is uh, looking at setting up a phosphorus roundtable within the province. So this roundtable would essentially bring um, a number of different leaders together to discuss the issue and basically uh, better understand the importance, uh, strategic importance of better managing phosphorus within uh, Manitoba uh, on a number of different fronts. So it's uh, basically in general, it's about moving uh, this perceived nutrients as a noxious, noxious substance uh, within kind of the water management realm uh, to understanding that it's actually a very precious resource within the agricultural realm. Um, and so this, uh, peak, this uh, phosphorus roundtable will enable uh, very, you know, uh, um, um, various leaders to get together and discuss the issue and understand you know the importance of the issue and then hopefully develop strategies that'll enable us to better manage this precious resource.